Hi everyone. In this class, we will learn file system hierarchy of Linux. Okay, the file system hierarchy is bit different from Windows file system hierarchy. Okay, Linux has a reverse tree structure. Okay, so the first very first root directory is slash. Okay, slash. So under that, of some default directories, you will get it. You will find it when you install a fresh operating system. So each directory has its own significance. So there are set of directories I have shown here. Okay, the reverse file system st structure is like this. Okay. If you see, uh, first one is the root directory that is slash. Under that, bin, dev, etc, home, lib, mnt, proc, root, sbin, temp, still more are there. Okay, these are the default directories. Under these directories, some subdirectories or file. See, under this bin, you may find some files. Cp is a command, ksh is one file, pawd is one file, or some other subdirectories. If you see under home directory, m thomas is one directory. Under that bin, class stuff is the files like this. So it is organized in a manner that the very first directory, that is root directory, is the slash. Under that some subdirectories will be there under that again some subdirectories or, or files will be there it goes like that so it's a reverse tree structure slash means the complete operating system where it resides all files okay so in this we explicitly specified slash boot partition okay let me go up yes in this slide if you see slash boot is one direct directory under slash only but we uh, separately in a hard disk storage space we separately given particular space to that okay because we are explicitly saying that this is the boot directory so whenever machine starts it will look into this slash boot file and it will look for uh, where the kernel is kernel file is where the image file is where the grub and what are operating systems are there that all it will come to know by looking into slash boot okay so means that slash boot is a default directory under slash it has all bootable files similarly slash bin is a default directory under slash so we call it instead of calling bin dev boot etc home live we call it as slash boot slash home so we will call with a full path this is called full path okay so slash bin is for commands most of the commands will be in slash bin location some of the other commands special commands will be in slash s bin location okay and boot is for bootable files dev is for device files like uh, devices means uh, like CD drive, USB drive, or internal hard disk storage devices. These all come under slash dev. Okay, so all hardware related storage files will be in slash dev location. Okay, slash dev means devices you can remember like that. And slash etc for uh, host specific configurations. Uh, like suppose when we install one server, web server, or uh, uh, some other FTP server. So the configuration files will be in slash etc. Even users information will be in slash etc. Okay. Uh, so it is not etc. It is just a slash etc. Okay. And then slash home is a directory for other users home directories well, that we will see later. Okay. So slash home for home directories and slash lib. These for some uh, system related libraries files system files will be there. Okay. Uh, kernel modules will be there in that and slash mnt for mount point okay that we will come to know in the future in the future and uh, slash opt this is for uh, other third party softwares slash proc for processes whenever we are running uh, any software or command whatever terminal we open the terminal something so whatever we are doing it that processes will be running in the background right those processes will be in slash proc okay and so it's a system related we don't modify anything slash root is a home directory for uh, root user okay and has been i told you already some other set of commands will be there in has been so special commands and sys for some system files and all like this okay so like this there are many files you can you can see here also i have listed some default directories srv for services and slash temp file temporary files and slash uh, home for users home directory slash var for variable data variable data like uh, 
in the slash var slash log location log files will be there var spool mail this is that is the location where uh, printer spool files will be there printer related files and like this uh, this is uh, slash var has some variable information okay so this is the file system hierarchy let's see this same thing in graphical manner okay so for that uh, i have installed linux operating system here so in my vmware exclusive mode yes this is my red hat linux operating system so let me open this terminal see just right click on the desktop and open terminal that's it let me open it again right click on the desktop open terminal okay so like this we can open the terminal or else one other way is that you go to applications go to accessories terminal okay if it is other than red hat operating system if it is like debian or ubuntu operating systems then you have you can use control alt t for ubuntu operating system it will work okay control alt t so hold control and alt keys and press t to open the terminal okay uh, or else you can search in the software list terminal you can type terminal it will come okay so that is how to get a terminal okay now we got the terminal so here we'll execute the commands okay so let me zoom it control to zoom this uh, i mean uh, linux terminal you can use control shift plus control shift plus see it's zooming so that uh, you can see cl clear screen yes i have zoomed it i think it's okay yes so this is the terminal now i'm going to uh, see the see file system hierarchy so first of all we don't know any commands so let's go in graphical manner to go to graphical manner so places click on the places select computer okay so here i got this window in this if you see file system is there okay so let me full screen it see if you see in the top okay uh, let me zoom it yes slash slash is a directory okay that is the root directory first directory very first directory in the linux file system hierarchy okay so under this directory we have these many files okay these are the default files it's a fresh operating system okay okay so in this if you see slash bin is there this is for commands let me open this yes if you see there are many commands n number of commands are there okay see d dd is one command dbus these all are commands only dmesg false like this n number of commands are there okay so slash bin is for commands and slash boot this is for bootable files if you see oh, let me full screen it yeah in it are it's an image file it's a linux kernel file okay and even grub is inside under these grub files are there grub.conf is there here okay and some other files are there so this is for boot menu like this splash screen yes so this is slash boot file now we will see slash dev file if you see here so there are many uh, disk related files are there in this okay and these are our hardware files uh, we don't touch it but in linux file system remember that everything is a file okay see these all are uh, some tty means terminal type and even so these are our hardware related files we don't touch these but these are the files okay so generally in slash dev uh, if i connect cd drive cd writer see here even some other uh, slash dev tty usb if i connect to usb uh, like that you can see uh, slash dev even while installing the operating system also that uh, sda slash dev sda 
see I'm, I'm under slash dev SDA see SDA SDA1 SDA2 SDA3 these are the hardware partitions right that hard disk we have divided into partitions these files will be here slash dev SDA SDA1 SDA2 okay and then slash etc file so this is the file which has uh, users information and other con configuration files if you see for cron jobs this is the file on cops means printer okay common usage printer system files will be the uh, configuration files will be here uh, even audio drivers files will be there also audio driver and even see bluetooth cron.d these are the uh, files uh, directories under those directories configuration files will be there okay see samba server is there under that some configuration is there as smb.conf see like this there are so we will come to know all of these about these uh, later but now just i'm explaining what are these directories let me come back to home directory see under this home directory i have this many users u1 u2 u5 user1 so these are the user names so so each one is a each one each user has its own home directory under this slash home okay this is dedicated to users only and this is libraries we don't understand anything because it is system related kernel libraries those things okay we don't touch that and this one is slash media this slash media is used for uh, mounting uh, uh, USB drives and all like those okay so when we connect it it will mount it slash media slash something that with the USB name okay so when we insert it uh, even misc for miscellaneous files mnt for it's an empty directory for mounting temporary and opt for third party softwares proc for process files so slash proc for process files slash root is a home directory for the root user so it's like a uh, normal root user has its his own home directory other users has home directory under slash home so under slash home so we under slash home there are the it will create a file with a username the directory with a username okay suppose u1 is a user i have created so under slash home u1 is a directory under this his home directory will be there okay we will explore about these home directories when we learn user administration part okay uh, and now slash has been it has a set of commands uh, apart from uh, slash bin there are other set of commands are there that will be in slash bin and slash temp for temporary files and slash var for uh, variable files like uh, var log for log files and some other files uh, like uh, many different files will be there var spool mail for uh, printer files okay so like this let's see okay these are set of file systems okay so in this class uh, we have learned file system hierarchy uh, thank you for watching this video